the coal rush is this weekend, but believe it or not, not everybody is happy about the uniform combination. Well, I'm going to talk to somebody on Locked On West Virginia that helped conceptualize that. Stick around. You are Locked On West Virginia, your daily podcast on the West Virginia Mountaineers, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. What is up? Welcome in, guys. My name is Mountaineer Paul. You've reached another episode of Locked On West Virginia. Can't thank you enough. We've grown several hundred subscribers in the last month alone, and it's all because of you who watches this program with me every single day on this Locked On West Virginia podcast. Thank you to you on YouTube as well. You've been really great. FanDuel is going to bring you this episode of Locked On West Virginia. $5 is all it takes to get $200 in bonus bets. Go to FanDuel.com and check that out. So, the coal rush is this weekend. We're excited about it. It's a huge game, but there's obviously an extra part to it that most people love, I think, but there's been some pushback against the uniform combination, the all black uniform with some white. The coal miner heritage in the state is great, I feel personally, but not everybody is thinks it should be in the uniform combination. So I'm going to bring somebody on today who helped conceptualize it. He helped push it out there. He's got all the answers that you might have about these coal rush uniforms and the concept behind them. We're going to bring on the deputy athletic director of external affairs, Matt Wells. How are we doing today, Matt? Doing well, Paul. Thanks for having me. That name was a little bit tough to get out. I'm not going to lie. It's a longer hey, title. I've been called worse. I've been called <laughs> worse. You, you did fine. Yeah. So, okay. So, you know, I, and I've tried, you know, I gave up on debating people uh, on X because you never win that argument anyways. But there's a few people I try to bring to the light on this or the dark, if you will, since they're, they're cold rush uniforms. You help. This is your baby. Basically, is it fair to say that? Well, I, I wouldn't give me that much credit. This was very much a team effort. It started at the top with with Rem Baker and Neil Brown and 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 their support and their willingness to uh, to take it this way and and especially Ren, I think even helped drive it um, to to be something that we really dove into and decided if we wanted to do it or not. Um, there's been I've I've been at WVU in my twenty second football season, um, and so I've been here a while. I think I understand our fan base and and understand what you're alluding to with you know some on the more traditional side, not thinking it's a good idea. And, and there's been conversation for years about black uniforms, whether that was football, basketball, um, et cetera. So, so I think I know all the different sides of that argument, but, but part of what we thought was important if we were going to do it is, was don't just do a black uniform for the sake of doing a black uniform. Um, do we have a story that we can tell? Do we have a hook that makes sense that, that, people can get behind fans can get behind we know that no matter what we do not everyone's going to agree right not everybody agrees when we wear a white helmet with white pants at home much less one to a, a black so we heard some feedback a couple weeks ago the kansas game so that it's like a it's like music right everybody has their own different taste and that's why there's dozens of different radio stations and radio formats to 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 give people something that they like so we know there's going to be opinions on all sides of the issue when it comes to uniforms but but we felt it was in important that if we were going to do black to, to have a story and some meaning behind it and not just do black for the sake of of doing a black uniform and that's where we as a team um, sat down um, michael forgale our senior associate for communications joe swan our senior director of publications kristen cold snow who's no longer with the athletic department but still works with us on a consulting um you know basis um we sat down and worked through um, the details, what could that story be? And, and certainly um, because of our knowledge collectively of the state of West Virginia, of the, the, the fan base, um, it very clearly became how do we tie this back to the history and tradition and heritage of the coal industry and the impact it's had on the state. Uh, and, and that's how the coal rush theme and the, some of the elements on the uniform came to be. Uh, with with reaching out to Chris Hamilton at the West Virginia Coal Association, uh, Bill Rainey, the former president of the West Virginia Coal Association, they connected us. 
uh, with uh, with the group, good people at the Lear Mine uh, on the Arch Coal Resources side of things, and and we we visited the coal mines. Kristen and Phil Lynch, her one of our other graphic designers, uh, to to really start working on what that inspiration was going to be, and then that's how we ended up uh, with the uniform that we did and the concept of the coal rush. So so very much a team effort. But it sounds like there was a large collaboration between department athletic staff football staff licensing i mean there's a lot going on there terrific terrific job and the uniform is beautiful um well, so you. when you're talking about what inspired the idea obviously you talked about you just didn't want it to be black you wanted there to be a story or a hook behind it so what inspired the idea behind the cold rush uniforms and how does it connect to wvu's heritage and community or just the state of west virginia in general well, I think it's both WVU's heritage um, because WVU is so closely tied to the state. It's really about the state's yeah. heritage. Um, and, and I think I know this from my time here. I'm not, not a native. I'm not, wasn't born and raised here, but I've, it's come, it's, it's become home over 22 years. Right. Uh, and, and I think this state is more closely tied or at least as closely tied as any other university and any other college sports program uh to to their to their school so the, that bond between wvu and, and and the state of west virginia is is deep um the bond between the state of west virginia and the coal industry um is deep uh and, and so i think that's really where the inspiration started now once you get into the weeds of the various elements of the uniform and um and i'm glad you mentioned the trademark and licensing office because nikki goodno her team uh, were instrumental in working with us um, in, in, in conjunction with us to, to build the Built on Bravery collection, which put a, a, a collection of licensed merchandise out there for fans to buy, to wear to the games, to support the program, uh, all, all that. So, so once we got into the weeds, we took that general concept of let's let's honor the history, heritage, and tradition of the coal industry, and then okay, how do we do that? And 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 going to the mine talking to the miners, understanding what their mentality is, you know, paying homage to their hard work and effort and the things that they do to make this state and this country uh, function um, is what led us to some of the individual elements. Um, Kristen took a picture of an actual coal wall and, and created a vector file off of that. And that became the pattern on the, the sleeves and, and the, the, the pants, um, the, the stripe in the pants. Um, uh, the reflective material that's on a coal mining uniform was an inspiration for that reflective stripe on the sleeve and the pant and the number. Uh, it's a reflective material that we use to, to again, pay uh, homage to the the importance of miner safety and, and, and having the reflective material on and, and all that. Wow. Um, so, so it really came together from initial concept and high level Let's do this in a way that we we have a story and we we have a hook and and we very quickly agreed on the coal heritage and, and history and tradition of the coal industry and state being that that to then okay what do the details look like once we got into the weeds and the finished product is what you see with the the stripe on the helmet that's meant to emulate the 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 light on the miner's helmet um, brighter up front and narrows and darkens as it goes back right um, yeah. So, so um, there was a lot of thought and effort put into all the various um, pieces of the uh, of the uniform, which then tied into the the built on bravery collection and the the licensed merchandise that's available at retail for our fans to purchase to support the the coal rush and and the um, to pay respect to um, the the coal uh, industry. We touched on it in the open. We're going to talk a little bit more about tradition and change. So stick around, guys. This is Locked On, West Virginia. This episode of Locked On, West Virginia is brought to you by FanDuel. Hey, NFL fans, you can start the season with a big return on FanDuel, which is America's number one sports book. When you get the hunch in the middle of the game, you can check out the latest stats, view the live play-by-play, -play, and so much more. On the same page you, page, page you place your bets, you can get started with $200 in bonus bets, guaranteed, and all you have to do is place a $5 bet at FanDuel.com. 
t- this weekend's game continues to be closer and closer in the Mountaineers' favor, in my opinion, when you look at these lines. Live on FanDuel right now, it is still a three-point game. Listen, it's and, and that's, that's at home against an almost top-10 team. West Virginia, much closer in the eyes of ESPN and others as we move along through this. Keep your eyes on FanDuel as that line goes before you place your bets. Back with Matt Wells, the Deputy Athletic Director at West Virginia University for External Affairs. Um, So obviously we touched on it just a little bit. So what overall have you seen? We've seen so many people change their profile picture today to that black, dark theme profile picture supporting the coal rush. But there's been pushback against that. And I just want, you know, for somebody that probably invested a lot into this, but also understand that not everybody's going to be on the same page. I mean, we did this in 2010, right? We've seen it with the basketball team, uh, these black uniforms. It's not the first time it's been done. I'm sure there was pushback even then. So just kind of curious on – your, what you, from your vantage point in the community, what you've kind of seen, has there been any challenges along the way? Because uh, real quick, I'll just, I interviewed Ren Baker two years ago. And one of the big questions we asked him was like about changing the entrances, these black uniforms, stadium lights. Every single thing has been, he's, and we talked about traditionalists then. Those things have changed little by little. <laughs> you know, so I think Ren does deserve a lot of credit for that, along with everybody else involved. Well, I, I would say, and, and back to my earlier point, anytime you do something like this um, for a program like West Virginia's, you know, you're going to have opinions on all sides of the issue. The The best thing for us and for, for somebody in a position like mine is that those opinions do exist. Right. The, the, the worst thing that you can have happen is you do something and, and nobody cares. Right. You have apathy yeah. and, and nobody cares. That's part that's of what a great makes, point. That's part of what makes this state and, 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 and certainly West Virginia University and the, the mm-hmm. West Virginia University Athletic Department. And, and you know, in particular, the, the WVU football program uh, so great is that people care. Uh, and, and so that's just something you have to be prepared for and deal with. Um, I don't get into arguments about it. Um, right. I, I know that we're not going to change people's mind, respect people's op- opinions on it. Um, but but I am glad whether positive, negative, um, supportive. Um, you know, people may think I'm a, you know, our team or uh, our geniuses or, we're, you know, that I did a really good job or people may think we're dumb and we and I did a bad job. Right. Right. Just right. People have a strong opinion because that means they care. They're talking um, about so, it, yeah. So, so that's the that's the starting point. Um, I think getting into the details of how people are interacting with the coal rush, um, it's always good when fans make it theirs. Um, and you know, I wasn't smart enough to think about uh, blacking out, for lack of a better term, your profile picture <laughs> on social media, right? Right. I, I'm not even sure I know how to do that. Uh, I have to give a shout out to at who is Brandon on Twitter because he did mine for me. And so I, I figured out how to save it and change mine out to participate. But yeah, but, uh, I thought that was pretty cool that a fan. <laughs> Good idea. Yeah. Somebody did for me too. Picture, right. And uh, so I think it's great if that's how fans choose to interact with it. Um, we think that's terrific. And, and I think that tells us that we hit on something here that's um, that the fans are supportive of and like in general, knowing there's going to be opinions on the other side. But but again, we welcome those opinions on the other side because it's better that they're not happy about it than that they don't care about it, right? Absolutely. So, so that's yeah. that's the way I always view that. It's 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 great that we have positive support, and yeah. it's it's actually good that we have people that are on the other side because that means they care. That's a great answer, man. I love that answer. We don't definitely don't want apathy. So I, I'd seen you repost something. And honestly, I didn't know it was much of an issue, but there are people that thought they were going to be able to wear some these uniforms to the game uh, that they bought. Can you touch on what you were talking about there? Just kind of get the message out there about if this is delayed or or if, if delayed's a bad word, maybe you can correct me. Yeah, it's not really delayed because we were up front from the beginning what the timelines okay. look like. We're we're hopeful that they'll be there even earlier than what we initially thought. Um, but 
the the in the world of licensed merchandise there's there's long lead times um there's there's availability of the of the supplies needed to create it there's factory capacity needed to um to generate it you're kind of in line with you know dozens of other college programs all the nfl teams that that nike's contracted with it's not it's not locally sourced in that there's just a factory here in morgantown sitting around waiting to make right. wvu jerseys right so and it wouldn't be as good of a product if there was you know so when we started <laughs> this um initiative in this planning phase we knew that that we were really pushing the timing of when yeah. the replica jerseys would be ready because right. we probably started this i don't know 15 16 months out from when they actually appeared on the field um and and probably needed to be more in that 18 to 24 month time frame to to start the planning to get them done in time for them to hit retail in the summer um so we we in the and when we announced it back in May that we were going to do the coal rush uniforms and unveiled them initially, uh, uh, we put out information and I know I put out information that, that it looked like a holiday season um, availability for the, the coal rush jersey. So um, subsequently, and I think the, the back and forth that you saw, Fanatics was able to, to put them on sale through a pre-order um, late last week. Uh, with um, shipping to happen here in about a week, October 18th or so, um, and, and, and hopeful that they'll be in retail stores um, very soon, earlier than the holiday, but, but just don't think we're going to hit in time for, for game day um, at this point. If we do, it will be something very, very last minute. Um, because some shipments got out earlier and were able to be delivered in time, but, 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 we at least moved it from Thanksgiving ish, the beginning of the holiday sales season to, to more middle of October. Um, uh, but, but again, um, that's just one of those things. It wasn't a reason to not do it. We knew from the very beginning re replica jerseys at retail was, was going to be a very tight timeline and we were willing to, to deal with that. Now, what I would say the good news about this particular Jersey is um, that I think lessens the blow of not having it for Saturday. Um, is that we're going to wear these for the next four or five years. Yeah, and, and so you, right. You get it when it comes out in mid-October, you're going to get use out of it in subsequent right. seasons. That was um, exactly what I was about to right. say. Right, and and, and 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 so that so I think that's a positive. Um, it's not just a one-off promotion. We're only going to wear It's it kind of like the Nike Pro Combats, right? We wore right. those a few times. Right, we wore those in the bowl game as well as the game against Pitt that season yeah. in reserves. Um, so, yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean it's it's an, another one of those things. It's it wasn't ideal, but it wasn't a reason to not move forward with everything else. Uh, we just knew we we're going to have to take some lumps, and and the the obviously the the person that posted the um, the comment that I responded to wasn't happy, but I felt yeah. they deserved they deserved a a response, and and it goes back to what I said earlier. Not I'd rather happy. be mad. I'd rather yeah. be mad that they can't get a jersey. Than yeah. to not care because they didn't want a jersey, right? Absolutely. So, so I, I think at the end of the day, even these negative comments and the, some of the negatives around this are still a very positive thing because it shows that people care. And, and it brought it to my attention. It actually got me in contact with you. So there's yeah. a lot more that it helped, you know, get the awareness out there. Uh, I'm curious, man. So the antithesis of these right have we seen what those look like yet though is there a white version of these with black there's not no this there's is not very okay. much, so we have we we're going to have four colorways in our our um uniform rotation for jerseys and pants so we'll have we'll have the gold we'll have the blue we'll have the white and we'll have the black and we have a jersey and pant okay. that matches and then same with the helmets we have a gold blue white and, and black helmet but we're not we're not going to reverse this out um, with a, okay. a white version, um, at, at least as I sit here today. <laughs> there's yeah, no right. plans for that, that that I'm aware of with a white version of this. Well, so. like you said, it's got to make sense. Uh, and, and the white doesn't really suit the color rush, coal rush theme right. as well, at least yeah. from my point of view. But yeah. um, I, and, I and also, one answer. thing I'll add to, and not to interrupt you, another complicating factor of this was we were obviously hopeful that we would get a night game and make the first night game at home a cold rush game 
the Albany game wasn't a true night game, uh, so we didn't right. feel like it made sense. Kind of felt fans would probably be disappointed if the first game was against Albany. They would want it to be a bigger game. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, you know, in a perfect world for us, back in late May when the first three weeks of the football schedule were released, um, they also released like the Thursday night home games. If we would have gotten a Thursday night home game in October, we would have made that the coal rush game and had all summer to promote it, right? But that wasn't in the cards, so we were kind yeah. of waiting to decide which game the coal rush was going to be um, to 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 fit it around the nighttime kickoff because I think all Mountaineer fans know Morgantown and Mountaineer Field's a pretty special place at night. Barry, and do you know there's some poetic justice around this? You probably may have heard this, but oh, the 2018 deal when we rolled into Ames and they exactly, were yeah, yeah. So you know, so we get to return that favor. Uh, what's it been? Basically, five seasons. This is six, this yeah, six six years, season, ago, yeah. Six yeah. years ago. So six years ago, I should be able to do basic math. Six years ago, we roll in there undefeated. They wear black, beat us, knock us off. Now the reverse is, could possibly happen as they roll into Morgantown, an undefeated, very good Iowa State team. And I'm going to talk with Matt a little bit about the actual game. Stick around, guys. This is Locked On West Virginia. This episode of Locked On West Virginia is also brought to you in part by Game Time. Game Time has a new feature called Game Time Picks that makes getting tickets for your favorite live events a lot easier. It filters out the fluff to show you only incredible deals on great seats so you don't have to waste time searching through thousands of tickets. Talk about a super deal. Curated deals make it easier to find the best price on great seats. You can view seats before you buy in a 360-degree panoramic view. And there's a low price guarantee, event cancellation protection, job loss protection, you name it. It is the best in the ticketing industry. That's right, the best. Game time will credit you 110% of the difference if you can find a lower price. And your price is covered with the most flexible customer service policy in the industry as well. Take out the guesswork of buying tickets with Game Time. Download the app and create an account. All you got to do is use Locked On College for twenty dollars off your first purchase. Terms do apply, but again, create the account, redeem the code L O C K E D O N C O L L E G E for twenty dollars off. Download Game Time today and ask yourself, what time is it? It's Game Time. And we're back. So thank you for the Matt Wells, the deputy athletic director at West Virginia University of External Affairs. Man, it's been fun learning about this coal rush, coal rush uniform, the conception of that, uh, and everything involved. A very involved process. Can't thank you enough for being on here. Probably the, the, the most important thing happening Saturday night is the game, right? And I think a lot of us are excited about that. So... Curious to see what your vantage point is on this game. Uh, you're around a lot of people in that building. I'm sure there's a buzz in the building right now. Yeah, and, and you're right. It's, it's, sometimes it's easy to forget that there is a game, right? That everybody's talking about uniforms and blacking out their profile picture and all those other fun things. But the, <laughs> the most, the reason we're all here is the game. So um, I think definitely a buzz. Um, like I talked about earlier, nighttime in Morgantown is a really special deal. Uh, and I think our fans are excited. I think the guys are excited. Um, now it's the coaches and the guys have a job to do, right? They're they're not probably not as excited today uh, on Wednesday as 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 the fans are, right? They got a build to to game day, so they they got work to do and a job to do. Uh, but uh, but definitely, obviously, coming off a, a great performance in Stillwater, uh, looking to carry that over and and. Um, back in the friendly confines of Milan Pushkar Stadium and, and a top 15 program, nearly top 10, as you mentioned earlier, coming to town with the coal rush and a nighttime kickoff and beautiful fall weather. This week's just been tremendous weather-wise, and Saturday's shaping up to be a, a really great fall Saturday for tailgating, and um, I've heard that Mountaineer fans enjoy doing that. Um, yeah. and, then, and then when getting to the stadium for kickoff, and we need – fans to bring the energy and the noise and and uh let's go out and get a big win 
You think they'll nickname, re, rename the blue lot the black lot for the game? <laughs> <laughs> That's a great question. I'm sure somebody will try that. We got some creative fans that you've seen this week. So but I'm, I'm going to have to make a post about that. This, this still will stop the head. But uh, <laughs> so, uh, you know, well, another interesting point about this game, I think it's getting some uh, talk, but really West Virginia great Anthony Beck coming home to be inducted into the Hall of Fame while his quarterback son plays in the biggest game of his life. You have to think there's some pressure on Rocco Beck in this game. Oh, well, you know, isn't it great, though, how coincidences like that happen? In it is. Ball, yeah. right? Like, that's a really cool story. I think uh, so. And, 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 and here's what I will tell you um, from my years of being around this, and I, I don't know um, – Rocco certainly uh, have watched him and admired from from a distance what he's done since he's been at Iowa State. Um, been a really, really solid, really good player. Um, my guess is he doesn't get caught up in all that, right? I think I think fans and and media and and guys like me and you probably think about and talk about that stuff more. Um, it's back to my earlier point. These guys have a job to do, right? Right. And, and, and he's preparing for. You know their game plan and preparing the adjustments they got to make based on what we do on defense and 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 probably just doesn't have time to stop and think about that. But I'm I'm sure at some point when he sees his dad out there on the field, he'll think that's pretty cool, right? I'm glad I'm yeah. I'm glad I'm on the same field. I'm sharing the same field with my dad and, and glad to see him be recognized for for what he is, which is a Hall of Famer. But but yeah. my gut my gut tells me. He's not thinking about this like like you are on on Wednesday of game week, right? Like right. he's 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 preparing and 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 ready to do his job. And I think we got a we got a building full of guys across at the stadium in the push car center that are also focused on getting ready to do their jobs. And so then that's what they're going to have to do. Um, although you're you're a uniformed guy, you're a lot of different things there in the, your department. I, if you could. Give me your best prediction for what happens Saturday. Uh, I'm not a prediction guy, but I, you got to go. You got to go. I would say the Golden Blue are going to come out victorious, but I'll I'll say the uh, the, the 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 guys in in the coal rush uniforms will come out victorious, right? It's a yep. it's a big one. We, it'd be it'd be big yeah. for us to get the three and zero in the Big Twelve, um, and 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 expect that that we'll probably have our best performance yet and see what happens. Awesome, man. Thank you for being on here. Guys, make sure you follow uh, Matt Wells at W Matt Wells on X. For any question you have about the uniforms or anything, he seems to be pretty involved. I'm sure he may answer you if he gets the time. If you can, if you have a question about that, or even if you want to ask me, I can I can definitely ask. So any question you guys have about those, I'll be glad to try to help you out. But let's support the Mountaineers this weekend, guys, and, and really just thank everybody involved with the process and doing this. Personally, for me, this is a big deal. I feel like it me it means you know I was trying to tell somebody earlier recruits paid attention to this stuff. It matters, so I'm glad that this has been a, a welcome change to the uniform combinations, and you've done an excellent job. Well, thank you for the kind words, and and, and thanks for your time and for having me on. No problem, guys. All right. So before we let you go, got to tell you, and thank you for making Locked On West Virginia your first listen today. But for your second listen, check out the Locked On Big 12 podcast. Drake Toll leads the conversation in conference realignment news, and he really holds no punches when it comes to covering every team in the Big 12. Find out for yourself. Go to Locked On Big 12 on YouTube or wherever you listen to your podcasts. All right, guys, for Matt Wells and myself, we're out.